What's up guys? Uh, I'm just taking a quick walk here as a break and I wanted to talk about something that's been on my mind. So the past uh, few months have been crazy, right? Um, we spent, Marissa and I just spent just under two months in Bali, Indonesia. And then we've been back in Virginia, in America, where we live right now for just about the same amount of time that we were in Bali, actually. And I thought it was a good time, something that I've been noticing a lot more of since I got back. And it's this idea of keeping up with the Joneses, right? And everyone's heard this term, I've heard this term a million times. And in America, in these first world countries, right, obviously we have this need to buy more things, right? To buy a nice fancy car, to buy a bigger house, right? As soon as we get a promotion, it seems like the first thing that people do when they get a promotion at a job is to go buy the next thing, buy the next bigger bigger thing, right? And, you know, it's something I, I was aware of beforehand, but I didn't fully notice until I got back, you know, because how, you know, Bali's, or Indonesia's a third world country. And aside from being the happiest place I've ever been to in my entire life, um, they were happy with the things that they had and they weren't trying to impress other people. Um, and that's a lot of the things we do now. Now, this isn't some holier than now speech about how I traveled and now I blah, 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 that I'm sure everyone sees, right? But what this is, is it's talking about the biological reason why we gather all these things. I'm not talking about now the fancy car and the big house. That's just keeping up with the Joneses. And the idea, by the way, keeping up with the Joneses, if you haven't heard that term, is spending money you don't have to buy things you don't need to impress other people that you don't even like, right? And and um, it's something that we've all heard of, right, before, but sometimes we don't look at ourselves. And I, you know, I've made the same mistakes in the past as well. Um, we don't look, you know, in, into ourselves and you know we buy the next big car or buy the next big house but another thing that people do is they also gather and they're they're just storing things right and this is very biological actually and the reason why people go out and they buy things let's say people go on a trip right they bring back all these souvenirs they don't even need or they go just buying more things uh, upgrading their tv from this size to this uh, this size to this size a couple extra inches bigger or whatever or buying more throw pillows for the couch or upgrading your dining room table or storing a bunch of little knickknacks and trinkets from different places and just adding it to your house oh that would look good over there oh that good over there it's biological because when we're hunter gatherers in our primal times with our primal brain and our primal brain still controls most of our thoughts and our feelings subconsciously and it actually controls most of our behavior with regards to that or because of that so what happens is people go out and we all do it me included and we go out and we gather things right because when we were hunter gatherers in primal times we had to go gather things where right? we had to go gather food Anything, tools, shelters, knickknacks, trinkets, rocks, spears, whatever that is, we had to gather all that up because we never knew when the next drought was going to come, when food was going to be available again. We had to save that up for security because as humans, we're wired for security in our brains and safety, right? Which is why a lot of people don't want to take risks and certain things in life. Well, what happens is nowadays, a bigger TV or an extra few throw pillows or a bunch of little knickknacks around the house are not necessary for survival, but wired biologically, we are wired to collect and gather things and store them. Almost like, like a squirrel storing nuts or something, right? We're wired for survival. But what happens is with our brain is, because we're still wired for survival to go and collect and gather things just in case, just in case something happens, we don't have that, that you know, for most people in this world, there's not that, um, what, do you, what do I wanna say? There's not that imminent danger of not being able to find food. And I totally understand there's a lot of people that aren't able to afford food and things like that. I'm not talking about that and I'm not looking down on anybody. What I'm trying to say is most people in middle class or even a little bit lower, whatever that is, it doesn't matter. But most people in America are able to gather food or if they have a job and a house, they're probably not trying to figure out where the next meal is coming from. Like I said, I'm sure there are a lot of people that are like that. And 
I feel terrible, right? That, that's a horrible thing. But what I'm trying to talk about is here um, is most people don't have that. Uh, most people in today's society don't have that fear. Like most people, I mean, think about yourself. If you're watching this, you have a phone, right? If you have a phone, you're probably not waiting for the next meal to come through or else you shouldn't have like a, a smartphone, right? But most people in today's society don't actually have that imminent danger of not being able to find food or shelter, right? So what happens is our brain needs to figure it out some other way. And we're still wired for safety and security. And one of those habits that humans in our primal brain have developed, survival tactics, was gathering and just storing a bunch of things. And the problem is, like I said, those things do not help us with survival, but we're wired to gather, right? We're wired to impress other people. I wanna have this amazing extra uh, room in the house that I never use. Or I wanna get a five bedroom house because I have two extra rooms in case people come to stay with me. Or when people come to see, I want to show them the beautiful, like. $500,000 rug I have on the ground or the $1,000 rug I have on the ground or whatever that may be. So there's twofold there, right? With keeping up with the Joneses. There's one where people just want to impress other people, but there's two and we're just gathering things. We're just going out and gathering things and adding more things. And what more things do for people, and this is the opposite of what most people think, but what more things do for people is they actually add more stress to your life. When you have more things to worry about, you have more stress and less clarity. And this is even, especially for someone that's looking to start maybe a business or a side hustle to get out of their job, or maybe you need to start a business out of necessity, or maybe you need to find more customers for your business, whatever that may be. When you have more things, you will have to do more things to take care of those things that take away from your business, that take away from your productivity, that take away from the things you enjoy, like your hobbies. I guarantee you, a hobby of yours, or the thing that you enjoy deep in your soul, that you're aligned with, is not shopping. Even though a lot of people enjoy shopping, and that's a serious addict, or addiction, I'm sorry, but that's not something you totally, wholeheartedly enjoy in your soul. And what that does is it takes away from all these other amazing things that you could be doing, right? Whatever that is, learning to surf, learning another language, basket weaving, whatever the hell it is, all these things that we do take away from, from all these things that we own, take away from all the other things that we can be doing that are actually going to contribute to our happiness. Stuff will never contribute to your happiness, ever. If you have your basic needs covered, right? If you look at um, Myers hierarchy of needs, um, and that's a different uh, video. I'll talk about that. But, you know, once you have your basic needs covered, happiness is more geared toward fulfillment and things that you actually enjoy, purpose, um, serving others, things like that. It's never aligned with more things in your life. I'm not saying you can't have things. I have things, right? We all have things, right? But to be super materialistic like I used to be years and years ago, when I was growing up, I, mean, I used to save everything. I was like the biggest pack rat of all time when I was younger. And anybody watching this, my family knows exactly what I'm talking about. But I noticed, and I had significant events in my life that caused me to realize this um, the hard way, um, was that I didn't need most of the stuff. I didn't need almost any of the stuff. And I'm happy doing things that I want to do. You know, I wear these tank tops, for example. Like, I don't have that many clothes. Um, I don't, I don't feel this need, you know, I still drive my 99 Ford Taurus. I don't feel this need to go and upgrade my car just because I make more money or whatever that may be. And like I said, I'm not looking down on anybody that wants to buy new things. That's not the point here. But the point is that we're wired and we have to realize this. And once, once you have awareness, we can then make change and cause change in our life. And we're wired for gathering and storing things and impressing other people because we want to impress our tribe, right? Well, that right there is not going to contribute to happiness. And a lot of the times, the amount of things we have actually weigh us down because now we have to take care of it. If we have a gigantic house and we can't afford a cleaner because, or we can't afford somebody to come clean it, now we have to take time to clean that house every week, every few days, right? We have to mow a gigantic lawn, all these things. So if we can focus on just the things that we need, we'll be able to be way more happy inside of ourselves. We will serve people more, give back, find fulfillment and enjoyment in life without being weighed down and taking our energy, our creative energy away from our brains just to put into all this stuff. I hope this helped guys. I know I was rambling, but 
10 minutes I think is the limit. So I'm gonna cut it off here and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.